Anthony Hudson here for the clash between Fremantle and Carlton. With me today is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Today's an exciting match. Practice matches offer the ideal scenario for experimentation, Hutto. Both teams will still be looking for the result. Fremantle set to take on Carlton in this exhibition match today. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. That's true, Hutto. Carlton, they've got a talented group in the middle. It's up to whether or not Fremantle can match them in the centre. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. Captains converge for the toss of the coin. Fremantle kicking to the right of screen. The fans of both sides awaiting this one. And here we go, it's Fremantle taking on Carlton. Well collected, clumsy tackle results in a free kick. McAvoy moves it now. Scoops it up. Well, it'll be a ball up near the boundary line. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Decides to kick a strong pack mark. Works it across the ground. Picked off the deck. Ware collects it. Moody clears the ball from the contest. Marks now and can send it back. Chose to kick it. The umpire will ping her for deliberate. Hosky drives a low kick. Stands tall and marks. Tips it towards half forward. Hurried kick. It's marked by Duffy. Moves the ball by foot. Webb will be upset with that. Gets it away. With the ball now. She heads for home. Horton couldn't keep her hands on it. Uses the far foot. Was taken high in the tackle. Fremantle would love to make the most of this opportunity. 20 metres from home. Duffy likes her chances from there. She loved that one. She's kicked the first goal. Umpire ready to resume play. Moody won it. She gains the possession. Collects the loose ball. Lining up for goal. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Nice hands. Putting this one through will give the Dockers plenty of confidence. Great mark under pressure. 35 metres out. Move it on. Sharp goes for it now. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. Of course, Hunter. She sinks her first goal. The teammates rush over. 
Fremantle have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The margin is 12. Releases by hand. Mops up the loose ball. Mooney brushed off easily. Great grab. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. 40 metres out. Going for number one. Fremantle supporters delighted by that effort. Celebrating hard. 18 points the difference. Back with another centre bounce. Won the hit out. Hosky made the tricky bounce look easy. Puts boot to ball. An easy grab, Duffy. Fremantle could allow him too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Duffy throws the ball away. Duffy now heading to the bench for a break. And now we'll have a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. No prior. One down. Thank you. We'll get a ball up. Taps it down. Moody did well not to fumble. Messier gets on the end of this. Looks to move it by foot. The mark has been taken. Tips it towards half forward. G hangs on to that one. Wants to move it quickly. Finds this one all by herself. She drives it towards goal. Messier slots the goal. Smiles all round. Carlton deliver the first goal. We're back in motion. Moody won it down. Antonio releases the ball. She couldn't get the hand pass away, so she just threw it. Goes by foot. Can't take the mark. Picked up now. Clean pick up by Edwards. Linking by hand. Hosking will be the recipient of the free. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes it well. Uses it by foot. Intercepts the ball well. Clifford drives the kick. Antonio leading the race to the loose ball. Uses it now. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Moves it by foot. The mark is taken by Sharp. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. Moody does well to mark. Well, when you look at the shots of goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. And she stepped over the boundary line. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Harris farmed it down. They can create from this with quick hands. She's got the footy in her hands. Handball's under pressure. O'Sullivan gives it to the player running past. The umpire calls for it. Wins the ruck duel. Mascol a bit too casual with the tackle. Good mark and looks to send it back. Goes with the kick. Fumbles the ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Thank you. Moody gets onto the ball. Gooch with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Elects to kick. Winning the ball in the air was Antonio. Got boot to ball. Edward takes the mark. Looks up with a kick. Moody steals possession. Keeps it moving. Hacking it out of there. 
Williams presents and takes the mark. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Scoops up the ball. Finding the ball with ease. Wilson has it. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what she can do here. Rosala was surrounded. She needed to mark that, and she did. She likes her chances from here. She was celebrating the moment that left her boot. She's enjoying every second of it out there. She's excited about that one. That's two in a row for Carlton. The Blues, no need to worry yet. Kicks hurriedly. Stewart takes it well. This is kickable by her standards. Normally a good shot on goal. She can put it through. Doing well to intercept that kick. Puts it on the boot. Ends up marking uncontested. And Dyke puts it on the boot. Marked by Harrington. Slams it on the boot. Stevens found some space and marked. With a driving kick. The mark is taken by Woods. Moves the ball by foot. Open opportunity for play. Looks to move it by foot. Marks that ball uncontested. Harrington packs it forward. And the mark will be paid. Goes with the kick. Marked by Koski. Is accepted. Handballs to a teammate on the run. A poorly executed tackle there. Slams it on the boot. Sayre takes a strong mark. Big kick required from this distance. Ball Fremantle are in the lead by six. The Dockers got up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. having an impact right now. She's doing everything right. We're ready for second quarter action. About to resume play. Thrashes it. Antonio now doing well with Breslin. A bit too hard with a push and it's a free kick. Center bounce. Thump clear. Wins the race to the ball. Clears the congestion. Ends up turning this ball over. Flying pushes a low ball. Found a way to keep it alive. Duffy just threw it. A spearing kick from Rasparkas. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Sinks the slipper into it. Good mark there. Kick by Duffy. Takes a strong mark. Goes by foot. All kinds of pressure being applied. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Going for goal number one. What a kick! And she puts it through. Gets some reward for her efforts. Fremantle have kicked the last two goals. Fremantle lead by three goals. Big thump from Harris. Pushes off the tackler. Hosky flicks it over. Woods puts on a bump. Here's Brazale. Doing well with the mark. Fremantle are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Antonio wins the marking contest. Gets
gets the handball away. She gets it back. Kane receives the ball. Ends up with Green. Quickly onto the boot. Where with the mark. Moves it by foot. Landed on her back on this occasion. Going for goal number one. Bresler drops the ball. Fremantle, Cleek Carlton, 31 to 12. Van Dyke did well to win that ball. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Handballs, and now Carrington. Ball gets cut off at full stride, receives the handball. Chips it towards half forward. A good mark out of the circumstances. 50 metres from home. Decides to kick. Hosky collects the loose ball. Getting in the way was O'Sullivan. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Well picked up. She decides to go for home. That's something to smile about. That will settle her nerves. Gets her first on the board. This one gives them a bigger lead. She celebrates hard after that. Back in the middle now. Swatson. This is Reeve. Clifford finds her teammate on the move. Has a runner alongside her. Hands that ball to the opposition. Wants to keep it moving. Slams it onto the boot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Breslin hammers it at goal. Oh, what about that? That was really special. That's her first. This kick puts them further into the lead. Look at them celebrate that effort. Back in the middle to resume play. Moody thumped it clear. Takes possession. Has it now. Takes a simple grab. If they kick this, they give themselves a chance. Bessier couldn't be happier with that goal. Carlton reduced the margin. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. Carlton for allowing the opposition too much room on the outside. They need to close them down faster once they break away. We're back in the middle now. Punched away. She has the ball. Breslin picks up the loose ball. Just leaves them in her wake. Great goal. She's bagged a couple now. Congratulated by her teammates. The lead is now 31. About to resume hostilities. Moody won the hit out. Brasparkas sends it clear of the contest. G had it, lost it. The ball mopped up. Movement by hand. Kept her head and kicked the goal. That's worthy of celebration. Yes, Hutto. Lloyd celebrating hard. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Brasparkas gives it off and now they go. Lloyd's missed an opportunity to mark. Jones takes aim. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. Gets her first. Oh, look at her. She really enjoyed that one. That's two in a row for the Blues. They are back in it. Hammers it. Collected by Stewart. Breslin short by hand. Dalton runs onto the field. The umpire will ball it up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Fantastic tap. Use the hands and gives away the free.
Van Dijk keeping it low. Finding the loose ball was Hosky. Stewart just gets it out of the boot. Hosky couldn't hang on to the ball. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Antonio going for number one. Couldn't quite with the ball. Fremantle by 20 points. Stevens looking to bring it back into play. Great mark in the pack with a driving kick. Harrington wins the ball in the air. Uses it now. A great mark taken there. Dalton channels a long kick. She seems to be struggling at this stage. It might be time for a break. Sends it clear of the contest. Woods looking to track down the footy. Penetrating handball. She's getting on to the ball, Gaz. She's getting off the chain. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. So, what can Fremantle do with this opportunity in front of goal? Might be too far out to score. 40 metres out. She takes aim. A great goal. This kick has extended their lead. She's enjoying that goal. Now they lead by 26. She did really well there and gets the reward. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. The Blues haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Sweeping handball. Breslin dominating this game. She's really having a big impact on this game. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Goes by hand. Receives the handball and takes off. Just got the hands in the back there. A chance here to convert for the Blues. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. A 45-degree angle for this shot at goal. Messier already has two goals. This for a third. Spears the ball. Runs out of room. And we'll get a throw in. Ball to be tossed back in. Tossed back into play. Clears the contest. Lloyd's won herself a free. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Lloyd loves that goal. Carlton now only trailed by 20. Thumps it clear. Gathers it now. Jones used the body to take that mark. Looks up with the kick. Edwards takes it strongly. Going for goal number one. Takes the mark. The kick from Gooch. Does well to keep it in play. Puts it on the boot. Webb got hands to it. Contests the hard ball. Hit the man hard. Downey hit the man hard. Coughed up by Gloyds. Williams cuts it off. Finds the loose ball. Clifford is streaming past and gets the footy. The ball's knocked loose. Gets a handball away. Hits the target by hand. She can't hold the mark. Dalton fends off the tackle. Elects to kick. Good grab there for Woods. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Half 
time and it's Fremantle 56 to Carlton 36. It's been a promising first half for Fremantle. They'd be confident they can keep it going in the second half. Let's have a closer look at the stats. Carlton need to tighten up once the ball leaves the contest. The opposition are getting lots of uncontested ball and it's hurting them on the scoreboard. Much appreciated, Gaz. It's half time and we'll be back soon for the second half. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Punches are clear. Opportunity for McAvoy. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Gets the loose ball. She's on fire at the moment, Gaz. She just keeps finding the footy. Took her eyes off the ball. Dug it out. Antonio. Interesting handball. Bowers wins the ball in the air. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. A clean kicker. Van Dyke. There to mop up. Is in her possession. She gets above the crowd. Keeps the kick low. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Uses it by foot. Antonio gains possession. She looks like she needs a spell. Dishes it off. Oscar gets in the way. Pushes through with power. A low stabbing kick. Brasparkas drives it a goal. Unbelievable effort. And it ends with a goal. Pretty happy with that one. Carlton behind by 14. The game is back underway. Punches are clear. The ball in the hands of Bowers. Just gave it away. Brasparkas drives it out of the pack. Harris gets on the end of this. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Use the hands and gives away the free. The ball finds Woods. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. That one will really lift them. No doubt about it. The time to celebrate. And don't they get around Woods. The Blues close the gap to eight. Moody with the hit. Just put it on the boot. Picks up the loose ball. A chance for Miller. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. She acknowledges the crowd. Fremantle with the ascendancy over Carlton, leading 62 to 48. Up for grabs for Clifford. She's got the football now. Dug out the loose ball. Great tackling technique. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. Got boot to ball. Finds this and marks well. Green will have to put everything into this one. Looking to kick goal number two. Nice mark under pressure. Stevens elects to kick. She takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She needs to find a way into this game. Drop punt straight through the middle. Miller getting them further in front. She acknowledges the crowd. Fremantle by 20 points. We resume hostilities. Clears the contest. The ball goes to ground. Spent that one before she earned it. Seth making her way onto the field. And the umpire will ball it up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Decides to go for home. Drop punt. Finds its way home for Rosale. She'll be happy with goal number two. Celebrating hard. The Blues close the gap to 14. The game is back underway. Thump by Harris. For a spark as manufactures a handball. The old one too. The ball spills the mass score. Gets a quick kick away. Missed the target. It's a turnover. Loses control of the ball. 
Clifford got under it. Fremantle are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. For a spark as Arts in a bit of space. Moves it quickly. Can't take possession. Thrashes it. Kane clean from the half volley. Stewart throws the ball away. Bangs it on the boot now. She's really making an impact in this game, Gaz. She's everywhere at the moment. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. O'Sullivan goes with the kick. Kane has had plenty of it, Gaz. Yes, I don't. She's a class act. Walker just threw it. Chose to kick it. O'Sullivan takes a strong mark. Fremantle are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Moody spills it. Prasparkas wins the foot race. Finding the ball was Grieve. Hands that ball to the opposition. Williams just too high with the tackle. Searches for a teammate downfield. Over the top of the pack. A piercing kick from Woods. Easily takes the mark. Chose to kick it. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Uses it now. The loose ball picked up. Bowers dug out the loose ball. The loose ball scooped up. Pick line. The umpire calls for a stoppage. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. G decides to soccer it. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. G steers it towards goals. Into the post it goes. Carlton won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Gooch to kick it in. Decides to play on. Gooch kicks hard along the boundary line. Williams gets a quick kick away. Spills the mark. Woods will be the recipient of the free. It's a long kick. Harris looks to get onto the football. Cleanly picked up. O'Sullivan releases the handball under pressure. She can take off after that handball. Bowers crosses off the tackle. She gets her hands on the footy. Marking in space with Horton. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Puts it on the boot. Van Dyke over the top. Elects to kick. Great mark. Looks to move it by foot. It's cut off by Stevens. Gets it out of congestion. Wow! How good was that? Sharp gets number two. This lead getting bigger now. Gets some reward for her efforts. We're back in motion. Punched away. She has the ball. Stewart couldn't snaffle it. Downey uses it by foot. Jones takes the mark uncontested. A spearing kick. Takes a nice mark. Maskell sends one up towards the wing. Breslin gets on the end of that handball. Takes possession. Antonio has a teammate on the move. Moody didn't mark it. Horton gurns a free kick. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. 40 metres from home. 
going for goal number two. It was all pushing their post and pushing it so hard, it hit it. The Dockers doing well at the moment. Fremantle have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Gets a hand to the ball. A good job keeping it in play there. We're going for number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. And Priest the lead. She's enjoying that goal. Fremantle, both 26. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. Taken by Seth. Not much time left in the quarter. A chance to reload the attack now. Hosky kicks it to the square. Intercepted. Puts on a big hit. Links with hands. Stewart going for number one. She blasts the three for another. They get around her after that effort. Fremantle have three in a row. Now they lead by 32. Fremantle take the upper hand in the final term. They lead by 32. Fremantle walking to three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Let's see what the stats have to show. Carlton are intercepting the ball well, but they're not capitalising on the scoreboard. They need to find the ball more at ground level to capitalise. Last quarter action, ready to go. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Moody on the tap. Antonio finds possession. Releases the handball. She gets her hands on the footy. Miller slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Off hands from Horton. Ball collected. And Dyke gets the loose ball. Tough ball to handle. The handball hits the target. Chris Barkas grabs that one. Just gets a hand in. Well taken at ground level. Stewart gathers it now. Does well to cut off the kick. The Dockers just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Walker landed in her back on this occasion. Good opportunity for Fremantle to put a goal through here. Might be too far out to score. Got hands to it. Ball picked up. Lobs the handball. Miller onto the ball. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Got the hands free. Intercepted by Lloyds. Stevens keeps it moving. Applying the physical pressure. Moody quickly onto the boot. Just landed in her back. Moves it by foot. A chance to reload the attack now. Slick with the hands. Hosky keeps coming. Gets into a good position to take that. Ball gets cut off. Missed the target. We'll get a stoppage. Tap down. My ball, says the umpire. Guides it down. Thank you. Now we'll get a ball up. Moody got in the better position. The tackle over the shoulder. Looks up with a kick. Good mark by McAvoy. Manufactures the handball. Play the little one too. Off hands. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to her and give her some instructions. Harris with a big fist on it. The ball mopped up. Doesn't connect with the kick, and it will be coming back. Got boot to ball. 
A solid mark for Duffy. The advantage is paid. Decides to go to the middle. It's a turnover. Gathered by G. A short by hand. Scoops up the ball. Finds the loose ball. Jones goes for the goal. Carlton fighting hard, but still with work to do. Collected by Bessio. Jones had the pressure bearing down. No issues with that drop pass. Look at her, she really enjoyed that one. Plenty of time left in the game, so there's still a chance. That's a really good team goal. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Center bounce. Swats it. Woods has the ball. Finding the loose ball was Reeve. Taking a nice grab. Uses it by foot. Marks all alone. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Well, now it's a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. That tackle just too high. Hosky has resources out wide. Slams it on the boot. Dug out the loose ball. Releases the handball. Stevens rushes with the kick. Hosky slams it onto the boot. Clifford doesn't take the mark. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. She's gone missing lately. Rushes with the kick. Great mark in the pack. Green, the long driving kick, rides out the tackle, packs it out of there. Clay marks uncontested, puts boot to ball. Miller throws the ball away. Downey kicks it. Nice work for Oski. Sinks the slipper into it. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Moved on by Williams. O'Sullivan controlling the airways on this occasion. Cuts the kick in board. Brizzale has a great set of hands. Gets some distance on the kick. Edwards gets in a good position. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. A drop punt through the goals. She celebrates hard after that. The Blues could kick back-to-back -back goals. Carlton behind by 19. She can take off after that handball. Takes that one strongly. Goes by hand, has it now. G with an easy mark. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Picks it up. She can put it through. Look at them celebrate that effort. That's three in a row for Carlton. Carlton now only trailed by 13. Thumps it clear. She's got the football now. Clifford just threw it. Harris kicks it. Hosking uses the body well. A chance to put one through for her side. Punches the kick. A big contested grab. She drives it towards goal. It somehow fits over the line, and it's a goal. Harris getting the crowd involved. Carlton have four on the trot. It's under two goals now. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Kicks hurriedly. 
does well to cut off the kick. Stevens moves it now. Good grab there from Van Dyke. Kicks it out of defence. Finds a target. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside the Plain gets the ball. Ball picked up. Hot. Moves the ball by foot. Picks up the loose ball. Terrific marks. With a driving kick. Strong mark in the contest. Dishes it off at full stride. Receives the handball. Decides to kick. Just gives it away. Collects the loose ball. She gets above the crowd. Fremantle are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Breslin determined to reach the ball. Horton will be the recipient of the free. She doesn't want to let her teammates down with this shot at goal. Big kick required from this distance. They can take the sting right out of the game here. She takes aim. Darts it through for another. That's her second. Horton celebrates with the fans. The Dockers starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 93 to 80. Thump clear. Great control there. Constant pressure and rewarded. The mark has been taken. Opportunity once again for the Dockers to put one through. Okay. She likes her chances from here. Ball spills, receives the handball and takes off. Turns it over there, lobs the handball. Plain links up with a chance to run. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect the forward to kick a winning title that way. Gets the handball away. She loved that one. Just two goals in it. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Intervening brilliantly was Seth. Receives the handball and takes off. Fremantle fans rejoice after a great performance here today. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? One side just wanted it more and they deserved to get the result. Cheers, Gaz. Here's the final scores. Fremantle 93 versus Carlton 86. Thanks to Gary Lyon for joining us. We'll see you all later. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.